Hey guys, today's video is on this look right here. I actually posted a picture of this on my Instagram and had a lot of hits on it, so I decided to recreate it for you. Be sure to follow me on my social media sites, I'll have it in the description box below. If you want to see how to get this look, then please keep on watching. I already primed my eyes with Max Painterly Paint Pot and now I'm taking a piece of tape and lining it up with my lower lash line to get that sharp edge. Now I'm taking the color Wipeout from the Balm Side Palette by the Balm Cosmetics and I'm setting that primer down. Now I'm taking the color Epic with a big fluffy brush and blending that all over the crease. Taking High Tide and spritzing my brush with MAC Fix Plus, I'm putting this on the inner corner and the quarter way onto the lid. I'm really packing on this color to brighten up my eyes and make this look more glam. Now with the color Sandbar and a flat shader brush, I'm putting this on the rest of my lid and slowly blending it into that High Tide shade. Now with Score and my Sigma E25 brush, I'm putting this on the outer corner and slowly blending it up into the crease. Now with the color Woody and my ELF crease brush, I'm focusing this on the very outer corner and slowly dragging it up into the crease. You really want to focus that color on the outer edge to give you the most definition and make sure you blend it into the tape to get that crisp line. Going back in with my Sigma E25 to blend everything out. Now I'm removing the tape and cleaning up any excess fallout with a makeup wipe. Here I'm just touching up the lid with the color Sandbar and High Tide. For my brow bone highlight, I'm taking the color Wipeout. I had to do my wing liner off camera, but I do show you how to do it in my other videos if you're interested. Here I'm taking NYX's white liquid liner and I'm drawing a line following my lower lash line and alongside my wing. Now I'm taking Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and coating my lashes, preparing them for the falsies. For lashes, I'm using Ardell's Glamour Lashes in 105 and Andrea's Strip Lash Adhesive. Now going back in with Maybelline's Line Stiletto, I'm covering up that lash band and touching up the eyeliner to make sure it's nice and dark. Now I'm going in with NYX's black liner and I'm using that to tight line. For my waterline, I'm using NYX's jumbo eye pencil in the color milk. Going back into the color woody and a flat definer brush, I'm smoking that underneath my lower lash line. Now with the color Epic and my Sigma E30 pencil brush, I'm using that to blend out Woody. I'm using that same Tarte mascara and coating my lower lashes. Now moving on to my face, I'm using Fawn from the Anastasia contour kit and my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush to contour my face. <music> 
To bake my face and clean up that contour line, I'm using Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. For blush, I'm using Milani's Powdered Blush in the shade Tea Rose. color sand from the contour kit and my elf blush brush I'm using this to highlight my face to intensify that highlight I'm using physicians formula warm nude highlight With a big fluffy brush, I'm wiping away that powder we used to bake with. Now with Real Techniques Stippling Brush, I'm using that to blend everything out. For lips, I'm starting out by lining them with NYX's Natural Lip Liner and slightly filling them in. Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Buttercup. To set everything, I'm using Max Fix Plus and spritzing this all over my face. So here's the finished look. I really hope you guys like this smoky nude makeup. I just love the white liner. I feel like it adds to the look and makes it more glam. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!